Our top focus at 9 a.m. this morning. The Delhi police has mentioned CPIM General Secretary Sita Ram Yachuri, Swaraj Abhiyan leader Yogendra Yadav, economist Jethi Ghosh, and Delhi University professor Apurva Anand in a supplementary charge sheet in the February riots case. Delhi police says that the names are part of the disclosure statement of one of the accused in connection with organizing and addressing anti CEA protests. In a series of tweets, Yachuri has accused the Modi government of misusing state machinery to target the opposition. Remember that the riots in the northeast district took place between February 23rd and 26th. It claimed 53 lives and left 581 people injured. We also spoke earlier to Yogendra Yadav on these allegations against him by the Delhi police and his name being mentioned in the supplementary charge sheet. Here's what he had to say. I think it's a conspiracy against Delhi police. Poor fellows have been given a conclusion before they could begin investigation. The Home Minister of this country on the 11th of March made a statement on the floor of the House which pretty much announced the conclusions of the risk of the investigation. And then Delhi police has been asked to investigate. So those people who made blatant statement in public, clearly inciting, the police does not even ask them. They have not even been invited for one round of questioning. What about Kapil Mishra? What about the union ministers who were openly inciting people? They have not even been questioned. And those who speak about Gandhi, non-violence, truth, democratic means, they are being dragged into this net. So I think it's a, again, it's a conspiracy to malign the, whatever the image is left of Delhi police. Kamaljit Sandhu is joining us this morning with more details on the story. Kamaljit, good morning. I want to understand from you the details in the supplementary charge sheet mentioned by the Delhi police and what is the proof that they claim to have against the likes of Sita Ram Yachuri, Yogendra Yadav and Jaiti Ghosh? Well, this is a supplementary charge sheet which has been filed by Delhi Police against uh, Yogendra Yadav, Sitaram Yachuri, two Delhi University professors, as well as a filmmaker. Now, what is important and significant is that this is a supplementary charge sheet. The main original charge sheet is against the Pindra Thor uh, members, which is Devyanjana, as well as Natasha. Uh, there's another member uh, uh, also. Uh, so, again, they were charged under UAPA, but this says uh, there was a larger uh, effort to malign the image of the government. Uh, they are they are influenced uh, by the speeches made by these particular people. Uh, this is obviously being seen in a certain context because many are raising questions. Uh, uh, we've seen uh, the TMC MPs now raising questions, uh, talking about why Kapil Mishra or the likes of Anurag Thakur not being named. Uh, this has obviously become a pot boiler of sorts. Many saying uh, Delhi Police, which comes under Home Ministry, uh, has vitiated the atmosphere. But very clearly, uh, what uh, Delhi Police is saying is that there is another charge sheet where more people uh, could be uh, named. Uh, but here on, uh, they have actually ruffled feathers uh, because named is General Secretary of CPIM, uh, Sitaram Yachuri, and he hit out. Uh, Yogendra Yadav, we heard him speak. Uh, so obviously, uh, this is uh, something uh, which has uh, come into light uh, where they said, and they've cited, uh, uh, cited these witnesses and they've okay. cited these uh, women who have said that they were influenced by the speeches of these particular people. Uh, but clearly, they have not signed the documents and they will have to prove uh, and give evidence in the court okay. as to how they were there. Because uh, all these people are saying right. that they were against uh, CAA, but they, they, there is no proof that they initiated right. uh, Kamajit, their... Kamajit, the request you to stay on with us. We're getting in a lot of reactions also. Mr. D. Raja is joining us on this broadcast. Mr. Raja, good morning. What do you make of the supplementary charge sheet by the Delhi police, which names Mr. Sitaram Yachuri, Yogendra Yadav, among others? I do not think this is going to be the last supplementary charge sheet. They can follow with more supplementary charge sheets. Delhi police is acting in such a partisan, deplorable manner. Delhi police is directly under the Union Home Ministry and Home Minister Mr. Amit Shah. But Delhi police is acting in a partisan, one-sided way. And uh, everybody knows in Delhi, in the country, who mm -hmm. made the head speeches during Delhi elections and after. And uh, no action, no charge sheet, no FIR against those persons. I can name them. 
वन मिस्टर कपिल मिश्रा वन मिस्टर अनुराग ठाकुर वो मेड द दो ग्रेट स्पीचेस गोली मारो ऑल दो स्पीचेस वो मेड एंड द पीपल नो इट और व्हाट इज द रेस्पॉन्स ऑफ दिल्ली गवर्नमेंट दिल्ली पुलिस दिल्ली पुलिस हैज नॉट टेकन एनी कॉग्नाइजेंस and delhi police has not filed fir against them but delhi mr police raja should have arrested them why and now what they do they target activists so mr they raja let me just tell you let me just tell you here with regards to the supplementary charge sheet you're saying that there are a lot more people uh, who are directly involved must be also be named first action must be taken against them here's what the delhi police says no, they no, says first, uh, first, that in the supplementary first, charge sheet mr raja just one second no. in the supplementary charge sheet these names have been mentioned not as accused but names that have been put out by some of the accused they've said that the likes of mr sitaram yachudri yogendra yadav have made certain speeches based on which their names have been mentioned and not as accused but in passing in the supplementary charge sheet no whatever may be they can uh, uh, name anybody as passing reference even i was there uh, uh, in jamia several political leaders were there addressing uh, anti caa protest uh, protesters that is not the issue the issue is the delhi police is uh, targeting certain intellectuals certain activists in order to intimidate them and uh, this cannot go unchallenged and those who have been arrested and they are uh, forced to uh, give some uh, statements also we are aware of uh, such things and uh, you know, what is this all happening are we in a democracy or are, are we in a fascist regime okay. people should uh, take note Yeah, expressing dissent, expressing difference, and expressing opposition to any policy of the government is part of our democracy. And uh, the anti-CIA uh, mm. protests emerged spontaneously. People came on the streets, not only in Delhi, okay. across the country. I address meeting in Calcutta. I address meeting in several places. Yeah, then what uh, what so does your message mean? your message mr raja is that just because someone speaks or addresses a rally in these areas doesn't mean that their name must be mentioned in such a brazen manner in a supplementary charge sheet mr raja thank you for joining us on this broadcast and sharing with us your views on this big development the delhi police filing a supplementary charge sheet where the names of sitaram yachuri yogendra yadav jayati ghosh apurva anand have been mentioned Hi everyone, Preeti Chaudhary here. Hope you like this video. For latest news and analysis, like and subscribe to the India Today YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching.